Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, a country is going to build a new cruise terminal to bring in more cruise ships. And I just want to give you an example of the money differences from one country to our countries and how much profit and change of life it's going to be for that community. We also have Watergate. Yeah, it's being called Watergate again as prices of water is going up and wait till you hear by how much. It's kind of crazy. Then we also have Princess Cruises. We'll be adding a new itinerary going up to Canada out of Boston this year as opposed to New York. And we also have Carnival saying that their digital disembarkation is going to be for all the ships in North America. It, and, and of course, we have an update on Labadee, the private area of Royal Caribbean in Haiti. Is it ever going to open again? So Thailand is thinking on opening a brand new cruise terminal. They just had their uh, PM as well as their environmental minister and the ecology. They went down on a three day tour to this island down just below Bangkok and they're looking at bringing in a new cruise ship terminal. They say that that area is one of the top 10 Asian destinations for cruise ships. However, very few of them actually go there because there's no real good docking facility. They're hoping that bring by building a new cruise terminal that will bring up to 120 cruise ships there a year. Well, that will bring in about 8 billion ba, their currency. Now, if you're wondering just how much money that is, the average salary of somebody in Thailand is around $408 a month or 15,000 ba. So $408 a month is their average salary for the country. Now just think how much $8 billion of income brings into that community. It's huge, especially for an income area that is much lower than the average person. And you know us North Americans, we just start tending to tip everywhere we go. And if you think that somebody who might make say an extra $30, $40 a day in tips doing tours and cruise, you know, excursions, stuff like that. Well, when you only, the average salary is 400, $30 a day is a fortune in some countries. So I'm hoping that this cruise terminal comes to fruition. It's a beautiful area of the world and more cruise ships. Now they are saying they're going to be doing it right. They are going to be managing the waste management and doing everything so it doesn't hurt the ecology of the area. They are going to have that all set up before any cruise ships are allowed to be in that destination. So it sounds like they're going to be doing it right. Next, let's talk about Watergate. Uh, no, not that Watergate, uh, the Carnival's Watergate. And the reason <laughs> that this is kind of becoming a thing with, you know, Carnival is because they keep raising the price and it hasn't been that long. So back in October of 2022, you could get a 12 pack of bottled water for $4.95. Then in December of that year, they changed it to $9.95, more than doubling the price. And people thought that was out, outrageous, right? December of 2022, uh, they raised it to that price. Well, in December of 2023, they raised it again to $11.95. Just a few months ago, $11.95. Well, you know, they decided even that wasn't enough and now it's going up to $14.95. That's an increase of almost 250% in less than 15 months. I don't know about you, I know inflation's hard, but 250% and they are not really coming out with a reason why. 
and most people are saying it's most likely because of demand on there plus the supply chain issues etc with the things going on in the Red Sea and all this. I don't know what the cause is. Even John Hild on his Facebook page when he's questioned about the price hike again for the third time in less than you know, 15 months were saying, uh, you know, well, it kind of, it is what it is. <laughs> well, okay, it is what it is. We got a price hike and unfortunately we are either pay it or you, you go without, shall we say. But speaking of Carnival, they are also saying that now in all the ships sailing in North America, you can now use the digital disembarkation on their app which means you no longer will be filling out a sheet when you're on the cruise a few days before you get off as to what time you wanna leave and your flight times or anything. You'll be able to go right into the app and either choose that you wanna self disembark, which means you take your own luggage off, or you can choose a time on the app of when you wish to disembark, then your tags will be left in your room, Put it on there, leave it out before 11 p.m. at night, the night before you get off, and your bags will be waiting in the terminal. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, at the last minute, the app doesn't start, stop working. And uh, then you're stuck with, you know, nobody knowing when their bags are coming, etc. <laughs> it could be a mess. But so far, they say their experiment has been working very, very well, and people have been able to do it quite, quite easily. And if you are really anti digital way to go you can still go down to the front desk and and order some tags yourself there but um, it's all going digital so you can now do digital embarkation before you arrive and digital disembarkation before you get off the cruise ships next i have two more stories about the private area on haiti and then princess's new destination uh, cruise port but before i get there let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you want to keep up to date with everything going on in cruising, from the cruise changes and ports, to the Watergate scandals, the price hikes, to making things just a little bit easier, and hey, maybe new destinations that you may be able to visit in the future, plus the new cruise ships coming online. I hope you'll join us here. We'll try and make it as entertaining as possible. And when you hit that subscribe and the like button and leave comments, it really does help the channel out. Well, Princess has a very good cruise itinerary from the East Coast, down the East Coast of the United States into Canada. I was on one last year on the Caribbean Princess. We left from New York and ended up in Quebec City, and then it does another 10-day return. It's a one-way trip. Well, they decided to do the same thing again, except they are going to add a new cruise embarkation port. They're going to start sailing from Boston and they're going to use the Emerald Princess. Now they will have a variety of trips leaving from Boston. Uh, it's going to be a seven day return trip from up into the Canadian coast or they're also going to offer the same 10 day itineraries that'll go all the way to Quebec City with an overnight and then a return 10 day itinerary back to Boston. This just spreads out more people and more ships able to go up the Canadian coast as it has become a very popular cruise destination. We had a great time last year. We brought a group on board and uh, Tony was there with me and he just said, you know what, this is one of the my favorite cruises I've ever been on just because we get to visit our own culture, our own heritage and not you know, we've been to the Caribbean many, many times, but how many times do you go visit your own neck of the woods and discover all the history of your own country? It's amazing and we had a great time. So I'm really glad Princess is adding this. Next, we finally have an update on Labadee in Haiti with all the violence that has been going on with the prison break and the government fighting the gangs down there. Well, it soon turns out Royal Caribbean is still not going to take any chances and the no Labadee is not going to be opening anytime soon, their private destination there. They are going to be suspending all cruises to that area until at least the end of May next month. So if you have a cruise and you were thinking you're going to go to that private island, note you are going to be ending up with another destination instead. But safety is always a priority and that is what Royal Caribbean has decided to do and you can't blame them. You don't want to take a chance with your ship, your crew, your passengers, safety.
Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button until next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.